I am the High Priestess of the Temple of the Triangle. Welcome, and learn what I have to teach. The CD-ROM industry has grown enormously in the past few years, and several industrious young companies are clawing for a piece of the computer yeah, action. Does he uh, get to uh, converse with different characters in Dark World as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're... Cyber Dreams, located in Southern California, was founded in 1990 when CD-ROMs were still a convoluted concept to the majority of the population. The company made a name for itself in 1993 with Dark Seed, an award-winning title that utilized the eerie artwork of Swiss designer H.R. Giger. Andrew Balzer, director of sales and marketing, says that by blending creative talent with cutting-edge technology, the company has found its niche in a competitive marketplace. What we've done is we've teamed up with world-famous artists, writers, and designers, and we've brought their expertise into the computer world in creating games for uh, CD-ROM, for Macintosh, IBM, and set-top uh, station. Don't bother me, human. Can't you see I'm floating? A sequel to Dark Seed is due out in November. As in the first game, Dark Seed 2 follows a writer named Mike Dawson into a weird parallel universe called Dark World. And fear not, director of development David Mullock assures us Giger's macabre monsters are creepier and more colorful than ever. We're after a much higher graphics resolution this time around with the capabilities of computers being much higher than they were several years ago. In the original game, we had... Uh, uh, 16 color graphics this time around. We have 256 colors. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. Harlan Ellison has chosen to collaborate with Cyber Dreams on his first Damn and only venture into the computer game scene. Based on his popular short story, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, the game has been stirring up controversy for months, even though it won't be out until mid-November. It's not like an arcade game where people just bang, bang, bang. It is a game that is supposed to make you think. It's supposed to disturb you and upset you and unsettle you, and I don't know of any other games that are like that. The storyline for the game picks up where the short story leaves off. Five protagonists have been tortured by a crazed computer for 109 years, and now each is being sent on a horrid adventure. One of the story tracks involves a Holocaust scenario, and therein lies the controversy. At one of the computer shows, uh, where, where a preliminary version of I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream was being showed, somebody, somebody showed up and uh, got very upset about this track and, uh, and said it was very disturbing, very upsetting, and uh, it trivialized the Holocaust. Well, let me tell you something. I'm a Jew. The only way you could trivialize the Holocaust is if you forget it. Where have you been, Nimdok? We are waiting on you to perform. You were waiting for me? We're trying to go beyond that something that merely passes the time. We're trying to create something that by playing it, it was worth your time. And trying to explore ways to create something that's truly interactive literature. Otherwise, what's the point of hooking up with creative geniuses like Harlan Ellison and H.R. Giger. Well, Cyber Dreams must be doing something right. Wes Craven, the twisted mind behind Nightmare on Elm Street, just signed on to create a game based on an original idea of his. Freddy Krueger in a CD-ROM game? Hmm, who knows? This company is full of surprises.